and action. <laughs> do I say hello? I mean, can do. It's a bit coy. Um, hello, my name is John Hewer, and I am the co-founder and producer at Hamilton Productions. And I'm lucky enough to be considered the UK's number one Tommy Cooper impersonator. I suppose what I really miss about touring is that camaraderie of sharing a, 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 a experience in two, two very different ways. So you've got the cast, you've got the crew, and sometimes I bring in quite a skeletal kind of lot. Sometimes it is just me and Chris doing the Tommy Cooper show. Uh, and then there's that, that working relationship you have with uh, the, the, the operators and the technicians at the actual theater. And that's always nice, because they're different people, they've got different ideas. And there's the rapport with the audience. You know, we, we, we do rehearse the show every time in a different town. And you know, we can talk a little bit about the structure of the show, but it's not until you start getting the laughter back, you know, when it really lifts you, it really lifts you. And I guess I miss that an awful, awful lot. So the opportunities that it's, it's given me, you know, I, I, I can't put any kind of scale. I mean, Tommy Cooper in particular, you know, when we do a tour every year, you know, it's, 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 no, it's, not, it's no massive stretch of imagination when I tell people, Tommy Cooper's bought my house, you know, it's, 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 it's been so, so, that show's been so generous, so good to me. <laughs> well, I've played in some empty houses before, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I suppose the, the main thing I missed in 2020 was the variety of work, of people and projects that I am lucky enough to work on and that really did take a hold, particularly in the, the latter half of the year when, you know, those gigs I was kind of hanging on to, those tours I was hanging on to, you know, they were being, you know, taken off the calendar. I think that's what I miss the most. I like being busy. I do like being busy. Um, it's important to be busy to make this kind of career work. Um, you need that kind of constant stream of work coming through and work in the future. And sometimes these gigs, you know, they can be as little as you know, six weeks in advance, but mainly they're a year plus in advance. So you're always worrying about the future anyway <laughs> uh, before before the pan before a pandemic takes hold. So. I, but I think that's what I missed the most. It was it was to meet up with those people who I who I really really get on with. I really trust them. I like working with them. I like spending time with them. So to have that element taken away was was very very hard because you know you socialise with those people, but you socialise with them at work. And now here's a tip for all gardeners. <laughs> the the biggest impending thing uh, was that in in 2021, it's 100 years of Tommy Cooper. And we had a big, you know, 30 plus venue tour lined up for that, to celebrate that. And we were gonna do two versions of the tour. We'd either do our usual two hour tribute show, or we were gonna do like a, an hour long version show and then follow up with a, with a Q and A session. And, and you know, we had, we had big hopes that that would be okay because, you know, we're talking about March 2020 and no one was talking about shows not happening in March 2021. And the 19th of March is Tommy Cooper's birthday, it's his centenary. And I owe an awful lot to Tommy Cooper. Uh, he's really looked after me. And so I could not let the anniversary pass by without some kind of fanfare. You know, I just would never forgive myself. So we had, we had different ideas of what we could do. And some of them were very small and quite easy to achieve. And then some of them were very grand ideas that we could we could try and chase. So we are going to be doing a, a, a pre-recorded show um, on my local stage at the Riverhead Theatre uh, in Lincolnshire. And we're going to do a, a full hours, best of, if you like, um, entertainment uh, that Tommy Cooper shared with us all those years ago. So we, we know we can't bring Tommy Cooper back, but there is, something to be said in staging a salute to the man and to celebrate 
his magic, his comedy timing, you know, his just frank ability really to make a whole room burst out laughing at the same time. The recording will be filmed in social distancing guidelines and restrictions uh, in related to the pandemic and the recording will be shown to a uh, live audience so we have a laughing track as well uh, on the recording and then it's going to be shown across social media on all our channels um, and it will be free it'll be free so please do tune in and join us in celebrating saluting commemorating the one the only tommy cooper just like that <laughs> i joined a golf club today keeps coming apart look <laughs>